Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. Guys, if you're new, please subscribe to this channel, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And all that have not joined the Chatterbox, go ahead and join the Chatterbox. The link is in the description bar. You do have to be at least 18 years old or older and it is $1.99 to join. Anyway, moving forward, this is baby Drew and he just got a bath um, because he's about to get dressed. And so we're gonna talk about baby Drew and hopefully I don't get emotional on this video. <laughs> Fingers crossed, y'all know I'm extra. Um, but I zoomed in as much as possible. I have not did anything to his hair. I am going to put him on a diaper really quick before I go move the camera down any further. Um, I'm gonna put him on this preemie size Heidi diaper. Um, and like I said, he just got a little bath. Um, before my babies go home, a lot of times, especially if they've been in my collection um, for any period of time, I try to make sure that they are, you know, clean when they go home. You know, even though I think with silicone babies, you know, mommies still put them in that bath. <laughs> I don't know about other mommies. I know I do just because I'm like, hey, this is the benefit to this. I can wash off any unnecessary travel um, germs <laughs> that might be there. Um, from the old mommy, from the post office, from wherever. And so, um, yeah. So... I'm probably going to do his hair off video, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and so I'm going to go ahead and show him. This is him. Um, let's see if I can make the video out so you guys can see him good. Now, like I said, um, ooh. We're gonna talk about Baby Drew is actually leaving my collection. <laughs> um, some of you guys are like, oh, I knew it. She always go on and on about these babies. The next thing you know, they're sold. <laughs> um, definitely didn't see this one coming. Um, definitely was a woke up in the morning, decided this is what I need to do type situation. Um, it's a lot of reasoning behind it. So I'm a little personal, so I'm not. Um, so I'm gonna share the part that's not. <laughs> um, one is that I, um, as you guys know and I've told you guys, I'm expecting another silicone um, kit. And I'm also anticipating getting another scope. Um, that I, I have no set date or anything on it, but I know that in my heart to heart that eventually he would probably end up being sold. I'm gonna put him on his um, Miss Serenity Smith embroidered top side snap. Um, I know that eventually down the road that he would probably end up getting sold, even though I say, you know, oh, he's a keeper, this and that. Um, I did not lose a bond with him or anything like that. I think that this sculpt is amazing. I will say forever and ever, over and over, that Maria Grover silicone pour is amazing. Um, I do hope to, you know, get another kit from her. Probably not Drew. Um, I'm kind of trying to stay away from painting as many duplicates as I can. Um... But I do love her marshmallow blend. It is amazing. Um, but um, like I said, I made the decision based off of, you know, I am going to be expecting other kits. And for my personal collection, um, I'm expecting one any day. Now I don't know when it's coming. <laughs> um, it's been a wait. I've been waiting for a while for it. 
Um, and then you guys know um, I've mentioned about that kit. And then I have one that I have not talked about and I will not talk about yet because I don't know for sure. I haven't put any money on it. Um, it hasn't been put out there yet. Um, and so I, you know, I've talked to the uh, artist behind it or the sculptor pour or whatever. And, and I say that because they pour for other people sometimes. So I don't, I'm not clear on who the sculpt belongs to to be honest now that I think about it but um I'm anticipating that baby and I thought when that baby come I know how I am I'm probably going to want to keep that baby um I you know I tell you guys this all the time <laughs> look at this I tell you guys this all the time that um sometimes Hang on, I'm gonna split this to this side. Sometimes we um, we have to buy to sell. I don't like to wait until I'm in a pickle to have to sell. Um, I want to be ready, and so I decided to go ahead and make that that move. Um, I am gonna go ahead and do the um flip overs i like my babies to be as covered as possible with knits everything i want to make sure he's dry though there's no water there make sure he's good dry okay so i i, I want so that was my process so basically of thinking and I do stuff like this, and I'm okay with it, to be honest. The other thing was, is that I did a thing, <laughs> like I told you guys, and I bought this, um, I bought this other baby on a whim from an artist, um, and I've never seen her work in person before, anything like that, so it'll be another one of those um exciting yeah a little nervous but exciting um box opening so and then when i was starting to put cody bear together which originally so this is how it go originally drew was supposed to be painted i just wanted to have be able to paint this sculpt i said i just want to paint this sculpt and um he was supposed to be sold but I fell so in love with him when he came as a blank and then further on I just couldn't do it Cody Bear was supposed to be um one that Cody Bear was supposed to be actually um painted to keep but I had decided to sell it because I kept Drew and same was with my twin B. So a lot of stuff, the way that it was intended actually went back to the way, I mean changed and then it went back to the original plan. So now Drew is actually being sold. I am actually keeping Cody Bear for now and um, that is that. And like I said, until I get this other sculpt that I am waiting on, I won't know if that one is going to be for sale. I am going to paint Grumpy and Grumpy will go up for sale when Grumpy is finished. I know that I won't keep Grumpy. I know I say that and I know I'm going to love her when I get done, probably, hopefully. Um, um, but the thought is that I won't keep her because I um, like I said, I'm expecting to keep some other kits. I cannot afford to keep every doll that I make. Um, the kits itself cost me money. The supplies cost me money. Um, it's just not something that I can afford to do. Um, oh, you got his little packet together. 
So, yeah, so he got his little his little care packet to go. His paperwork, some diapers, his bottle, his binky. So, yeah, so he got his goodies. I'm not going to show all that. Let the mommy have something to herself. Um, I was looking for my hairbrush and spray bottle because I want to put his hat on but your hair is a mess right now. I don't know if I want to curl let it be curly when he travel or not but I'm going to show you how I'm going to put his hat on. I'm going to put his hat on. He's going to have his hat on so he'll be in full travel wear and covered up but I'm actually going to spritz his hair a little bit, um, just so he have some, some style, even though up under the hat. And I'm doing this now so that it can dry by the time I put the hat on and take him to be, um, shipped out. Um, it is... I normally, just so mom that's watching, I normally don't get too specific about how I do his hair. I normally just spray it with water and just scrunch it up with my hands. Sometimes I just, you know, do this so that it can have some, some natural baby curls. The only part that I kind of do lay down sometimes is like his edges. Um, because I specifically gave him some, <laughs> some little baby edges to lay down a little bit. So I'll do that, but I normally just kind of crunch his hair up so that he has some, just some unorganized curls here because most babies hair is not like perfectly like we do our dolls so that's what I normally do so I'm gonna just let that dry but yeah so I know some of you guys gonna hate me and um, there'll be little jokes posted and stuff <laughs> about he's my forever baby he's gone <laughs> he's up for sale you know and that's okay I'm prepared. I know. I, I have to laugh at myself sometimes. Some of my my people that I talk to regularly just be like, yeah, so when you get ready to let that one go, and I'd be like, but I'm keeping this one. Yeah, but okay, but when you get ready to let it go, let me know. <laughs> you, you know, that usually be that thing. Um, the only baby, like I said, that I know for sure that will not leave here is Phoebe. And to be honest, she's not leaving because she's not fit to leave um and i've told you guys that before um but other than that like i said i'm expecting another baby one baby is um i already have a name his name is jersey um and then so i'm expecting jersey and then i'm expecting um another baby and i kind of got a name for her already so i'll tell you it's a girl and i was thinking of mimi so i'm not sure i need to see her in person and see what name i'm gonna give her for sure but right now i'm calling her mimi and so mimi should be here next week and so that's gonna be exciting and um yeah but things you know like i said things Things change. I got a lot going on, as I said to you guys before. And I still want to be able to enjoy the babies. But I also, you know, have to be able to let some go for, you know, other things that I need to take care of in the background. Um, so, also, like I said, I want to be very fluid and have money available for you know kits and stuff and so um quite a bit of people 
have said that they want, you know, express an interest in my work and want to see my babies and own one of my babies. And in order for me to be able to be as fluid with that, I do have to sell some babies so I can have kits to paint on hand because I don't do customs and I don't want to feel pressured to do customs because I can't afford to buy the kits on my own. And that, you know, at one point I thought about doing customs at, for that reason because you know the customer pays for the kit and then you paint it so you're really not putting money up front I don't want to be in that that predicament so um I just feel like I do my best work on my own time and so that's where I'm at with that but um if you're looking to purchase a silicone baby from me um never say never because um I will have a few here and there and I, like I said, I always tell people I am trying to grow with every baby. Um, let me zoom in to him. <laughs> um, I'm definitely trying to grow with every baby. Um, and, uh, but, you know, silicone is definitely with silicone is definitely um, a tricky process. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm not. It's definitely a tricky process with silicone. Um, it's not like as forgiven as the vinyl, but with both the vinyl and the silicone, um, they're both hand done. So um, it's a it's it's a process, but I want to improve with both, and I'm hoping that you guys continue to support me. And even though babies will come through here and be here with us for a short time, some will be with us a long time, some will be with us forever. And that's that, um, you know, right now, I don't even know how long I've had Phoenix. I think I've had Phoenix for um, probably, go, he might be going on his, it feels like he's going on his second year, but maybe not. Maybe he's just been here over a year, but I don't think Phoenix will go anywhere. That's my toddler. Um, definitely for me, I feel like that's a forever baby. Um, Lily Grace. Um, so I do have a few that I do think will be here forever. Um, Memphis, I want to keep forever, but I am painting another sculpt, the, his sculpt again. So I can't say that Memphis himself will be here forever. It just depends on which one I like the most. And, um, well, I ain't gonna say the most, but the most for me, um, there's a lot of people lined up for Memphis. So if I do like the newer one better, I might let Memphis go, but eh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty connected to Memphis, but we'll see. But I was pretty connected to Drew, as you guys can see. Um, but you know, it's different. Um, you know. It's easier for me to keep my Reborns. They're less expensive than it is for me to justify keeping my silicone babies. So, kind of hard. Um, so, we will see. A couple people inquired about Winter. Um, right now, I don't foresee her going anywhere. Um, again, that may change like everything else. But right now, I can't see that happening. Um... So, yeah, just stay tuned. Thanks, guys, for watching. And don't judge me too hard, okay? All right, see you guys later. Bye-bye.